What's up, people? You want me to go in there? Sure. John and Peter would like for me to do my live in the other bedroom, so I'll come and go in there. You guys are going to turn the TV off because I have to explain some things. Did you hear? Just stay out there. Oh, my God. I can't even. Okay. So, hope everybody's having a great, phenomenal weekend. I have an awesome story to share with you guys. Well, I don't know if I label it as awesome. I would just label it as like, mm. so anyways, let's just go with the story, okay? So anyways, first, before we start with the story, I, again, hope everybody's having a wonderful Labor Day weekend. I don't believe we're gonna get hit with the hurricane. So all of you people that just bought all these gas and all this like water for absolutely no reason, thank you for helping the economy. I don't think we're gonna need it anyways. So this is what happened, right? So I'm in a room that's quiet enough where you guys can actually hear it because this is like super duper and I am going to like I am putting this on blast so nobody ever does it again because it's weird. OK, so John, right, sometimes he'll come across like these posts like, you know, that I post like forever ago. It could have been like a year ago or whatever. Right. So there's a post that I posted. It was like, what's up, Matt? Hi, people. What's up? What's up? What's up? OK, so listen. There's a post that I put out like a year ago, right? And I put a post out, it was like with the sunroof open and I just got my hair done and was blowing in the wind, you know, like, ha ha ha, look at me, ha ha, whatever. So this is the post, let me just show it to you guys because you guys really don't understand this story until I show it to you, okay? So this is me, <laughs> okay, this is me, all right, not a big deal, it's just a post, it's not a big deal, okay? But this kind of is a big deal. So John posted it and he just reposted it on the Titan Medical Center page, right? Long story short, this guy, so the other day, let me just rewind it. Skrr, okay. So <laughs> the other day I, you know, opened my phone. It's, I want to say it's Friday morning. And so the girls at the office are like, oh my God, check the voicemail. Oh my God, check the voicemail. You have to check it immediately. I'm like, okay. I'm like, what's wrong? And they're like, just check it. You have to check it. Oh my God, check it. I'm like, okay. I'm like, is everything Okay. Just check it. I'm like, all right. So I decided to check it, and this is what's on the voicemail, okay? Now, granted, I'm ever so excited about people that like my photos. Awesome. I don't expect for anybody to like my stuff, nor do I care, to be quite honest with you. I'm being honest, at least, right? But I am going to play this for you, okay? This was a voicemail that was left on the office line for all of my staff to hear. And uh, apparently for me to hear too. But guys, before I play the voicemail, okay, because I did record the voicemail for all of you to hear and for the world to hear so that nobody ever does this again because it's weird. Uh, but before I play the voicemail, this is not how you go about getting a discount at Titan Medical Center. This is not how you go about trying to flatter somebody. And this is not how you go about making somebody feel warm and fuzzy inside. This is how you make somebody feel like, oh shit, you are scaring the hell out of me. Okay. So anyways, I showed you guys the post. If you guys just looked two seconds ago, this is the voicemail. Okay. Oh my God. I can't. I saw a lady on Facebook in a car. I don't know her name. She had sunglasses on. And she got her hair bleached. And she had the sunroof open. And she was letting her hair dry in the wind. She was letting her hair blow in the wind. She was blowing in the wind. Blowing in the wind. So I'm interested in what you guys do. Now you want to know what we do. I don't know her name. I think she's the main lady. And her hair was blowing in the wind. This is not the way to get a discount at Thai Medical Center, okay? I don't need anybody to call up and sing a song on a voicemail at my office, okay? And to be quite honest with you, it's actually super duper duper creepy. So don't do it, okay? Don't comment on any of my posts. Don't comment on any of my pictures and do not sing blowing in the wind songs on my voicemails. 
because that is creepy. Isn't it scary, Jamie? I'm telling you, it was so creepy. It's not even like, there was a fine line between like, holy shit, this is funny. And, uh, you know, wow, I, this is got a stalker. So anyways, I mean, to be quite honest with you guys, like, it's really, really, really difficult for me to be like, oh my God, I'm so scared because me being scared would be like super abnormal. Um, but I mean, guys, don't be weird. Like that's creepy. So long story short, my girls did the right thing, right? And they, cause the guy, right, decides to write on this thing. He's like, you know, like he says on the thing, like, oh, I'm interested in your services. So of course I have my girl, you know, the girls call up trying to do their due diligence of interest in your services. And the guy writes and he's like, is this the girl with the bleached hair that has her, her hair blowing in the wind? So, of course, somebody that wrote them at the office is blonde, okay? So, of course, their hair is bleached, so she writes back. And I, I couldn't, I really couldn't help myself. I had to jump in, and I had to let this guy know that um, my name is Sharice, yes, and I jumped in, and I told him, like, this isn't a dating website, this is a medical center, and, um, yeah, you're being super creepy by singing a song on the voicemail, um, saying blowing in the wind, like your hair's blowing in the wind, and, um, yeah super creepy so could just stop while you're ahead i did look this guy up on facebook because he asked me to on the voicemail so of course why would i not and i almost want to send this to his wife but i won't do that because it's just like a little extra you know what i'm saying but you know more than likely he's probably going to see this video and then he'll get it and maybe he'll never do that again because it's super 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 creepy so don't do it okay don't ever call up people's voicemails and leave messages of you singing blowing in the wind, okay? It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not cool. It's it's actually super funny, but it's super, super creepy, okay? So don't do it. Um, yeah, Jamie, I know. <laughs> it was, uh, I, yeah, it was interesting. It was very, very interesting. How cool. I have my uncle and my cousin on this live. So anyways, I was actually just talking to everybody on the live in case you guys miss it. But a guy that called up that saw a picture of me and my hair like blowing in the wind. It wasn't even like, it's so creepy. So it's not even like a picture of me like, thank God. It's not even a picture of me like in a bathing suit or anything, right? It's me driving with a sunroof open and my hair is blowing in the wind. I mean, it's, yeah, it's creepy. So just don't do that, okay? That's not how you get um, discounts and that's definitely not how you get on somebody's good side. And anybody that is like, got has any sort of, Respect. Thanks, John. Um, yeah, anybody that has any sort of respect whatsoever for a female shouldn't do that at all because it's stupid. So anyways, I wanted to make sure I got on my live and I told you guys about this because that's super creepy. Yeah, I should even post it like on an actual post so everybody can play it over and over and over. But I won't do that, you know, because um, I just won't. Um, anyways, long story short, Weekend has been amazing. Um, we are in St. Pete and we haven't quite been hit by the hurricane just yet. Uh, the pool has been amazing and um, it's great. It's absolutely amazing. So it's been a, a great weekend so far. I ordered some Instacart the other day and somehow I ordered two boxes of Lucky Charms and eight showed up. That must have been just some good luck. And Rodney, I'm telling you, I'm Side note, guys, I have to make sure Rodzilla knows. Guys, I'm going to send my squad out to this dude. <laughs> it's scary. Anyways, um, so uh, I have to also share this with you guys, too, because this is like super, super just it just makes me think that I think we're super doomed for um, society in the future for our future, like future just period. So everybody orders Uber Eats, right? Okay, so I order my Uber Eats, and this was yesterday, and me and John decided to have, like, a, a fiesta of, like, everything you could possibly imagine, all the way from snow cones to ice cream to milkshakes to lobster tails and steak and PDQ, you name it, we're, we had it, right? So we literally ordered, like, six or seven Ubers, right, to come and drop off the food at the hotel, and it's super easy if you're an Uber Eats driver, you just pull up to the front and you just drop off the food, you know, or you just come up and say, hey, listen, I'm here to drop off some food because I'm an Uber Eats driver and I'm going to drop off some food. So all the rest of the food makes it except for Joey. That's what that's what his name was. So Joey doesn't make it quite up here. Joey calls me and it's like, hey, uh, yeah, I have to park three blocks away because there's no parking. I go, 
dude, what are you talking about right now? I'm like, go to valet, pull your car up and tell them that you're there to drop off the food. It shouldn't be an issue. You can pull your car up into valet, just leave it there for two seconds and run it up. If you really need me to, I'll come downstairs and grab the food. Oh, no, 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 no. They're going to tow me. I'm like, I highly doubt that valet is going to tow you in a matter of a few minutes because you're dropping off food at a hotel. So just do what I'm telling you to do and drive up through valet. I'm like, they're very familiar with who we are. So I highly doubt they're going to have any issues with letting you come up and drop off the food. I said, I've gotten five other deliveries today. I really don't think that you're going to have an issue. So the guy decides to keep me on the phone, right? And this was me having like super patience. Like, I don't even know. I must have pulled this patience like seriously out of like a bag and a bag and a bag that was like behind a bed. Okay. So <laughs> I felt bad for John this is because it was his food. It was from Little Greek. It was the grilled chicken and something else. I want to say it was like the French fries or whatever. So long story short, I'm on the phone with this guy, right? And I'm like, I've had a long ass week, not for nothing long ass weeks the last thing i want to deal with is stupid ass uber driver <laughs> so he's on the phone with me and i'm like all right so just why don't you just stay on the phone with me pull up your car whoever's telling you in valet that they won't let you up you let me know what that guy's name is and i'll handle it so go ahead so the guy's like okay 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 so he pulls up and i can hear him like asking somebody like over the phone he's like hey sir are you gonna be towing me and I'm like, who are you talking to right now? Are you talking to a valet guy? He goes, no, nobody's in valet. I'm like, well, where are you? He's like, well, I pulled up by valet. And, uh, you know, this guy said he's going to tow me. I'm like, who the hell are you talking to? And then he says to me that he's talking to the tow truck driver. So let me ask you a question. If you're talking to the tow truck driver and you ask that tow truck driver, if he's going to tow your ass, if you park right there where he's pulling a car that's supposed to not be parked there, if he's going to tow your ass too, the answer is going to be yes. Okay. So I don't understand why this man could not pull up into the driveway. Like it's literally the beginning of the front of the building, pull up and then come inside and drop off the damn food. So anyways, yeah, Joey got it last night. It just had to happen. Unfortunately, you know, I did tell Joey, I'm like, you know what, Joey, I don't think today is your day. And uh, yeah, just forget about the food. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like you're going to make it through for my Uber Eats tonight because you don't know how to walk into the beginning of a hotel. So I turned around and look at John and I'm like, you aren't getting little Greg tonight. Okay. <laughs> I felt really bad to be honest with you, but it is what it is, you know. Anyways, guys, I wanted to hop on here and share my creepy ass story with you guys because that is not cool. Um, I will say, guys, for those of you that don't know me very well and that as you get to know me on these lives, soapboxes, in person, through Thai medical, whatever it is, okay, I happen to be one of those females that doesn't <coughs> like the attention doesn't like the compliments doesn't like any of that stuff now a lot of females do like that okay they do they really really do okay they love it but yeah not me i i i don't i don't i don't appreciate it actually i'm happily married and um i do take it to offense and when somebody can't give a compliment it, you want to give a compliment cool but somebody can't give a compliment without being like super disrespectful or it's just, I, I just don't, I don't understand. Maybe it's just like, again, we're rolling into like the society thing. And, uh, I think that just, you know, there's a lot of females out there that like that attention and I happen to be not one of those females. So with that being said, don't ever come to me and give me these awesome compliments. Just keep them to yourself. Yeah. Thank you. No, thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, don't call up and uh, leave voicemails that make people feel super, super <laughs> creepy and uh, want to report you to the police. And um, yeah, other than that, we can be super duper duper friends. Okay. Yay. Anyways, I had to show it to Peter too. He got a kick out of that. Anyways, I am going to block that guy as soon as I hang up on this thing because I wanted to make sure he does actually get to see it. Um, but 
I hope everybody has a wonderful Labor Day weekend. And I know I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Labor Day weekend. Even if it rains, I'll be throwing on some Netflix or some Voodoo and just having a grand old time with my hubby laying in bed with my pillow. It's just like amazing. Couldn't ask for a better weekend ever. Anyways, guys, I love you guys. I hope everybody has a wonderful Labor Day weekend and enjoys the rest of this. I love you, sis. I hope you're feeling better. You know who you are on here. And um, uh, I'll actually text you over that recording here in a second. And I'm sure, you, uh, I'm sure you'll have a lot to say about that, Sheree. Anyways, guys, talk to you soon. And I'll see you later.